features of fundamental duties features of fundamental duties the main features of the fundamental duties are moral and civic duties the fundamental duties encompass both moral and civic obligations they include responsibilities such as cherishing the noble ideals of the freedom struggle under article 51a b a moral duty and respecting the constitution national flag and national anthem under article 51a a a civic duty rooted in indian tradition the fundamental duties are derived from values deeply embedded in indian tradition mythology religions and practices for example the duty to renounce practices derogatory to the dignity of women has been rooted in the indian tradition for ages applicable to citizens unlike certain fundamental rights that extend to all individuals including foreigners the fundamental duties are specifically applicable to indian citizens non-justiciable similar to the directive principles of state policy the fundamental duties are non-justiciable however the parliament has the authority to enforce these duties through suitable legislation importance of fundamental duties according to the late prime minister indira gandhi the moral value of fundamental duties lies in establishing a democratic balance by making individuals equally conscious of their duties as they are of their rights without suppressing the importance of rights themselves the fundamental duties are considered important from the following viewpoints reminding citizens of their responsibilities the inclusion of fundamental duties serves as a reminder to citizens that while enjoying their rights they also have obligations towards their country society and fellow citizens warning against anti-national activities fundamental duties warn against anti-national or anti-social activities such as burning the national flag or destroying public property they help in fostering a sense of respect and reverence towards national symbols and public resources inspiring discipline and commitment fundamental duties inspire citizens and promote a sense of discipline and commitment they encourage citizens to actively participate in the realization of national goals actively fostering a collective effort towards nation building assisting in determining constitutional validity fundamental duties play a role in judicial review according to a 1992 supreme court decision a court may consider a law to be reasonable in relation to article 14 equality before the law or article 19 six freedoms and thus prevent it from being unconstitutional if it finds that the law in question seeks to carry out a fundamental duty political justification the inclusion of fundamental duties was justified by hr gokhale the then law minister and indira gandhi the then prime minister as a means to strengthen democracy and establish a balance between rights and duties relation between fundamental rights and fundamental duties the constitution of india not only guarantees fundamental rights but also outlines fundamental duties while fundamental rights were introduced earlier and are legally enforceable fundamental duties were established through the 42nd amendment in 1976 complementary nature of fundamental rights and duties the correlation between article 21 and article 51 a k highlights the complementary relationship between fundamental duties and rights article 21 guarantees the right to education while article 51 a k imposes the duty on parents and guardians to provide free and compulsory education for children aged 6 to 14 years neglecting fundamental duties individuals often concentrate on their rights while ignoring their duties in the name of the right to free speech people sometimes incite violence and spread fake news but this contradicts the duty to maintain social harmony and unity political leaders and religious divisions many political leaders seek votes by exploiting religious affiliations thereby disregarding their fundamental duty outlined in article 51a c the duty to protect the sovereignty unity and integrity of the country reinforcing democracy through fulfilling duties for democracy to flourish citizens must recognize the significance of fulfilling their fundamental duties in conjunction with exercising their fundamental rights important supreme court judgments on fundamental duties some important judgments of the supreme court on fundamental duties are chandra bhavan boarding and lodging versus state of mysore 1969 upheld legislation imposing minimum wages for hotel and restaurant employees emphasizing the importance of social welfare 
Balaji Raghavan v. Union of India, 1995 upheld the constitutional validity of national awards, stating that they recognize merit and incentivize citizens to strive for excellence. M. C. Mehta v. Kamal Nath II, 2000, invalidated a lease in an ecologically sensitive area and imposed fines for harming the environment, highlighting the duty to protect it. Sri Ranganath Mishra v. Union of India, 2003, directed the implementation of recommendations to disseminate information on fundamental duties, including the duty to vote in elections. In Ray Ramlila Maiden Incident v. Home Secretary, 2012, criticized unreasonable eviction from Ramlila Maiden, emphasized the duty to obey lawful orders and safeguard public property. Justice Verma Committee on Fundamental Duties the committee was formed in 1998 in response to the need for an effective plan for the enforcement of fundamental duties, with the goal of instilling a sense of responsibility and civic consciousness in individuals from an early age. The committee acknowledged the non-operationalization of fundamental duties and sought to address it by focusing on implementation strategies. The following laws were identified by the committee for the enforcement of some of the fundamental duties. Prevention of Insults to National Honor Act, 1971. Disrespecting the national flag, the Constitution of India, and the national anthem is deemed unlawful under this act, ensuring the honor and respect for national symbols. Protection of Civil Rights Act, 1955. This act provides legal provisions and punishments for offenses related to caste and religion, safeguarding civil rights and promoting equality. Representation of the People Act, 1951. Members of Parliament are state legislatures indulging in corrupt practices, such as seeking votes in the name of religion, can be held accountable under this Act, ensuring ethical conduct in elections. Wildlife Protection Act, 1972. This Act protects and regulates trade concerning rare and endangered animals, promoting conservation efforts and preserving biodiversity. Forest, Conservation, Act, 1980. Implemented to ensure the proper implementation of Article 51A, G. This Act focuses on the conservation of forests, their resources, and sustainable environmental practices. Conclusion. The non-enforceability of fundamental duties does not diminish their importance. They are crucial in a democratic state as they remind individuals of their responsibilities towards the nation while enjoying their rights. The term, fundamental, attached to these duties highlights their significance, regardless of some duties being enforceable by law separately. It is not solely the government's duty to uphold the Constitution, citizens must also be aware of their societal roles. Thank you.